All right, friends. Uh, I'm out walking the creek today. It's so much cooler now in Texas. Like a high of 76 today. So I won't pass out with my hip waders on. And then if you look way out there, that's the main creek. I've been walking forever trying to find anything. And I saw this little side creek and I came walking up here. Uh, but before I show you what I found, I found this just laying on the ground. Kind of weird. It's like a wire shaped like an infinity. And it's got that thing on it and a piece of a watch and a key to something and like an old furniture tack. <laughs> no idea. It's really heavy. I don't see any writing yet. I do kind of see writing. Uh, hold on. On the inside. Sorry. On the inside of that. I guess it's called a bezel. So anyway, pretty weird. I'll let you know. But I came walking up this little inlet right here. And look at that. Let's pull it out together. I already felt the underside. It is embossed. So let's see what we got. Oh, look at that. It's a cork top. Raleigh's. Pierce Glassworks. So it's probably not blown. Nah, I can feel a seam up there. Anyway. I'll leave that right there for just a second. Because I think there's another one down here. Which I haven't been to this one yet. Oh no. It's broken. It's right there. You can see it's broken. Anyway. Alright, well, if I find anything else, I'll turn the camera back on. Alright. So I found... There's the side creek. And I found this side creek to the side creek. And look at all the bottles. Let's see what they are. I can tell this is new. But I actually think that I have a lid for this at home. National Distillers. It has the federal off or bids. Looks like 49. I don't think it's 69 because it, cause it uh, has the Owens Illinois. But I have a lid, a perfect lid for this at home. So I'll keep that one. That's the only reason I'm keeping it up. So leave it here. Let's see what we got over here. Oh, this all looks modern. Oh, here's a, a little mucilage bottle and that's probably a uh, a um, nail polish that's a modern ketchup Anheuser-Busch but modern let's just make sure that isn't a ball and it's not Corona over there. So this side, side creek makes a little circle. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Be back in a second. I'm 
still walking this creek. I found a cap I can use for something. Everything's pretty modern so far. I don't know where that Raleigh's came from. Oh, look at that. That, that is, uh, it's so smushy. That's a Jergens, I bet. My grandmother used to have something like that. Either that or Q-Tex. Can't remember which one. I think if it was Jergens, it would say Jergens on the bottom. Uh, I can hardly walk in here. It's just nothing but silt. Sorry, I'm calling. My camera works shitty. Oh, look at that. Focus camera. I don't know if y'all can see that, but it says something O N. Oh, duh, Mason. Some kind of Mason. camera's not focusing. Maybe I have water on it. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, let's see if that works. Yeah, there's some raccoon tracks and my tracks. You see how deep my foot sinks when I walk in this? It's hard to walk. Oh my god. Look at this mess. Okay. I made a big mess right here, so I can't see anything else, so I'm gonna keep walking. Oh, there's something right there. Let's see what that is. Sorry about my camera work. It's really hard to walk in here. This looks like it's turning purple. Oh, yep, it's turning purple. But who knows what it was? Well, that's the age we're looking for. <sighs> All right, maybe I'm getting closer. I don't know how anything would have survived in here. But that Raleigh survived all the way down to the mouth of the side creek. Oh my god, I'm falling. All right, my foot's stuck. I'll be right back. All right. I just found that. Underneath the big root. I don't see the neck sticking on the other side of the root, but I don't think it would be that long. So, fingers crossed that the root was protecting it. I'm going to get my tools out and dig it out. Be back in a second. Okay, change of plans. I can tell from the embossing on the bottom that it's either a, a Pat D or a Patent Office. And from Austin, Texas. Um, so, not a uncommon bottle and not really a year I want either. And it's really hard to get it out of there. That rock is stuck. So, I'm going to let the tree have it. Be back in a second. So, that's the train track up there. And you see, I don't know if you can see, but there's pretty much trash all over this hill. I just uh, found this, which is an older Heinz bottle. It might turn purple. It says H.J. Heinz patented something. H.J. Heinz Company patented no date so probably that's not an old one probably so probably won't turn purple I'm going that way all right I walked all the way down as far as I'm gonna go and I'm turning around I'm going back and I haven't been filming too much I'll show you what I got later but uh, nothing nothing epic um, 
because it would just be in it's entirely too hard to walk in this creek and hold my phone at the same time i can barely keep from falling down every 10 seconds with both hands so uh i'll try let's see what this is that's nothing it's a little tiny bottle i got a bunch of those so i don't think i'll be taking that pretty modern uh that over there is an acl knee high that i found on the way down okay let's keep going i'll leave my phone on as long as i can and if i fall down y'all don't laugh at me oh goodness this is crazy there's something down there but it's broken i'm not gonna bother find a bunch of bricks that say Seguin on them which by the way is nowhere near the city that I'm in right now kind of strange and there's a whole bunch of them that's been a whole house that was made with uh uh those bricks that they pushed over the hill or something look at that that's an old telephone pole hmm. that they chopped off I wonder where the rest of it is. I saw some wood down there that was like the cross member things that would have insulators on it, but um, but they were up higher, so they would have been that way, <laughs> not the other way. Uh, I'm not sure what that is, but it's got buttons on it. It's like a worker's. Uh, orange suit or uh, yep i'm gonna slip on this fire <sighs> there's more another sabine brick a modern whiskey bottle it was broken oh i did find a coal although it's modern i'm gonna give it to my son it's a whiskey bottle and i'll show it to y'all later i don't know if y'all ever heard of it. It says uh, Mr. Taylor or something like that. There's a bottle right there. Wait, where'd it go? Right there. Let's see what that one is. Anyway, oh, it's modern. My son's, oh, here's one right here. Corona. Um, my oldest son's name is Taylor, and the bottle says Mr. Taylor on it. I'm probably going to give away, like, a whiskey bottle that's really valuable or something, because I have never heard of that in my life. But I'm going to give it to him, because his name's Taylor. I'll show it to you later. It's in my backpack. I have a lot of bottles, and I, uh been looking all over the place for a bag to carry them in so they wouldn't get all broken in my backpack but I can't seem to find one that's uh worthy of me touching it with my bare fingers so all right here we go you don't laugh if I fall I'm going to have to excuse my camera work. One day I'm going to get one of those fancy gimbal things. I don't know if I can get through this way. Let's see. I don't know if I came through this way. I don't remember seeing that tire. But I want to go up there. All right, let's go this way. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I found a really cool cobalt poison bottle too. 
It doesn't say poison on it, but it probably used to say poison with a paper label. I thought that was a marble. All right, here we go. We're gonna go around this tree like this. And then I'm gonna climb up these rocks. There's the Pepsi bottle that I pulled out of the ground. It's an ACL Pepsi. Uh oh, I almost fell in that tree. It's an ACL Pepsi, but it's not the pretty one. So, I'm gonna leave it for the raccoons or some other animal to make its habitat in. Modern whiskey bottle. Really modern, actually. Liquor bottle. Very modern. Not even older than me. Um, okay. I think that Raleigh's I found at the beginning. No clue where it uh, came from, but I don't give up. I found that in the water. It was in there. I pulled it out. That's a hot to milk bottle. An ACL Sprite. The ACL's gone, otherwise I'd bring it home because it says uh, uh, Everglades National Park. I don't think I'm going to bring it home, but uh, if anybody knows if that's collectible, let me know in the comments. I'll come back and get it. Today I have limited space, and I'm saving it for uh, cork top bottles, <laughs> embossed cork top bottles, bottles that are older than me. Okay, so I'm gonna go. Look, this creek's not moving at all. See how I messed it up and it's still muddy? Huh. You got like one shot to pick up all the bottles you can see at once before you can't see anymore. Um, hmm. I'm gonna go this way. I've already done this part of the creek, so I'm gonna go on land right here. cobalt bottle. Unfortunately, it's broken, but that would have been really cool. Hmm. That sucks. We like cobalt. All right. I don't have the first clue where I am. that I am not in a good neighborhood. But if I can figure out how to flip the screen around, I have no idea how to flip the screen around. 
Let me use this button. No, I don't know. <laughs> I thought there was a way to flip the screen around. Anyway, I was going to show you all the equalizer. I kept hearing something in the woods or on the tracks above me. And I kept stopping and listening. And then it would stop. And I said real loud, I am armed. And it stopped, but I think it was an animal. That's kind of strange. Just a slab of concrete. Hmm. All right, I'm not gonna bore you all with this. Um, oh, there's a bucket for me to carry my bottles. Oh my goodness, too bad it's uh, broken. Um, too bad. No idea what that used to say. Bandard? Bandard? I've never heard of a city in Texas that has that root word. I've heard of Bandero, but that doesn't look like a D. I mean, that doesn't look like an O, do you know? Oh, yeah. All these bottles. Ooh. I'm sinking. Wow. Holy shimoly. Hmm, that's pretty modern. Yep, modern, modern. Where is the friends of what is that? The friends of the uh the Raleigh bottle. Let's see what that is. Purex bleach. I am not taking that bottle, cause, but I am taking this cap. <laughs> Some kind of nasty, nasty per lotion. Byerly's? I don't know if I should take that or not. Didn't have a towel name on it. Oh, I never get those ACLs to stay on. I have no idea which way to go. This is a huge hill. I don't see any dig holes in it. I'm actually searching for a place that somebody knows about. <laughs> but they're piecemealing the clues to me. And I figured if somebody knows about it, there's got to be dig holes. I do not see any dig holes. See, now we're up top. We were down there. <sighs> Ouch. Yeah, I don't think this is worth it. Okay. I think I've been down there. I think I'm just going in circles now. Alright. Oh. Pretty cool. Hmm. <laughs> All right, I'll tell y'all back on when I find something better than 1960s farm garbage. See you in a second. All right, new spot. Well, actually it's an old spot. And I came to revisit. Yeah, I've probably seen it before. But I thought you might like to see this. It's a really old washing machine.
Isn't that cool? I guess that's where the water went in. Like a chimney stack. And maybe that's how you turn it on and off. No idea. Uh, yeah, I never found the old stuff at that other spot. I'll have to go back when I have help. So, I don't know if y'all remember this spot. Wow. I came here one day in the middle of the summer. And I walked the creek that's next to here. And I almost died. That's a shame. They could have donated that to Goodwill for somebody that has a baby and couldn't afford a stroller. Look, car seat. How hard was it to get, donate that to Goodwill? Or a battered women's shelter. Hmm. Look at that. Absolutely disgusting. Yeah, so the last time I came here, I almost died of heat stroke. So I did come here and dig for a little while. But I... <laughs> Is that Avon? A new? Is that Avon? Man, I still got some in it. Um... So I dug a walk around here and I found a spot that had some old shards and I dug for like an hour and then I left because I just wasn't feeling good. So came back to when it's 76 degrees, probably 70 in the shade. I'm about to take off my waders, my, my hip waders and put my uh, Tennis shoes back on. Let's see what we can find. I don't even remember where I was before. I think I was up there. Maybe. I don't know. It's just so much. Ooh, it's overwhelming. So, anyway, let me put my tennis shoes back on and figure out where I was. Look at those right there turning purple. That's one of those dried beef glasses. It's turning purple but it's got a couple flash cracks on it. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to put my tennis shoes on now and figure out where I want to attack this mess. Be back in a second. Alright, I've been walking around and uh, well, I don't know. It's overwhelming. But I did find this stuff. Look how purple this milk bottle is. I thought that was pretty cool. And I'll probably take that because it's also purple. Oh. You might not be able to tell on the... It's purple. And how cute is this? Oh my goodness. Let's see if I can't save it. In my electrolysis tank. Looks like the hole's plugged up though. So cute. And the golf ball. And a mason jar lid. Oops, there goes the golf ball. Okay, well, I'm gonna keep searching. The mosquitoes are absolutely insane. You definitely couldn't do this in the summer. All right, I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, I've just been digging around here underneath some other diggers uh, backwash and uh, 
I don't really, I figured, you know, most diggers don't keep as much as I do. But, this is really cool. That would have been really nice. This would have been really nice. This right here is so heavy. Like, just this piece of this bottle is as heavy as like a hobble skirt Coke bottle. And there's a cool little uh, salt shaker. This is a little amber jar. And a uh, glass stopper. And this is kind of cool. It's a uh, Ironstone China. G J and G Meekin Hanley England. Just plain. That's really cool. And this is super cool. I think it says walkers. Walkers up there. And then Wilm Wilmer Nook whiskey. I have no idea. 1804. It's like green. It's real heavy. Anyway, I'm about to wrap it up. I can't figure out where to dig in here. Just been scraping around. So, if I find anything else, I'll see you again. If not, I'll show you what I found earlier when I get back to my truck. See you soon. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all what I got yesterday. Um, and some of this is from the day before as well. I got it all mixed up. Uh, sorry I didn't do a wrap up at the site. When I got back to my car, the meth heads were starting to wake up. So I just threw everything in the car and left. But um, here's my uh, liquor bottles that I got. That one is a National Distillery bottle, which is no longer in existence. It was bought by Jim Beam in 1987. Um, and in my, let's see if I can, in my uh, box of lids that I keep, uh, I found one that, I had one that says National Distillers on it, so now it has a matching cap. Uh, that's a W and A Gilly, which I think was gin, also with a cap. Um, there's the old tailor I was telling you about, but um, let's see. that I'm going to give to my son. I've never heard of that before. I need to look it up. That, I believe, is a McCormick extract bottle, and it's about... 16 inches tall. That's a lot of McCormick. That's a lot of vanilla. Um, here is my embossed bottles. This one is, uh, oh, I'm trying to do with the light thing, but it's not working. Hold on. Turn that off. This is Raleigh's. It's a, a green, like an aqua green color. And this one is a Everett and Barrett Company. This was a shoe polish. Has a screw top. I got two Listerine Lambert Pharmaceuticals. One is a cork top, one is a screw top. I got a Horlicks malted milk from Racine, Wisconsin. This is a, a Sorbine Junior. It's a blue bottle. And in my handy dandy pack of caps, I found one that has an A on it that fits this bottle, so maybe that was the cap that went with it. Heinz Honey and Almond Cream. Um, 
And that is the cap that was on it. The cap was on it. Abercrombie, oh wait, sorry. <laughs> the F.W. Fitch Company, which was a hair tonic. Um, and that is a cap that I had in my box. Um, I can't get this to... That fits on. And this is pretty cool. I've never seen a, a Watkins before. The J.R. Watkins Company. Registered U.S. Patent Office. It's a cork top. Um, but I've never seen one that's script like that. And of course, a Sours extract. And this is a pretty little cork top amber bottle. Looks like it might have some perfume or something in it. Got one snuff with two dots. There's my screw top Art Decos with some lids that I found. Some little green bottles and these these lid, the white lids were on the green bottles. These are two are shoe polishes. This is a little blue jar, a little frosted cork top jar that I thought was kind of cool. A Noxema, a Vix, three medicines. Put this lid on them. A little tiny, two little tiny cork tops and one screw top. Two glass stoppers. A ball lid, two milk of magnesias. Thought this was pretty cool. The handle's broken, unfortunately, but it says made in Japan and it's got a really pretty seam on it. Wish it wasn't broken. The only thing that's broken is the cap. I think that crack right there is just in the glaze. And then here's the bottles that are waiting to go in their acid bath. Um, to get all this crud off of them. But you can see like some of these are already purple. These, these two are purple already. There's a salt shaker that's purple. Uh, these are uh, Welch's that are turning purple. This is a dried beef glass that'll probably turn purple. Another medicine. This is a Probably an ER Durkies, but it's old, it'll turn purple. This is an amber jar that needs some serious acid. Some more caps. This is a cute little tiny, like, um, salt shaker. Like, like something you would get with your food on a train or something. And I don't know how I'm going to clean that because the lid won't come off, so I can't stick it in acid with the lid on it. This would have been cool. I was trying to get the lid off of it. It has a little shaker top with like a little thingy turn right here. Um, this is on a blue bottle, but I can't get the lid off. This was probably some powder. It has a little shaker top and it says share me on the bottom of it, but I can't get the lid off of that one to clean it. And I got this toothbrush that's really cool. It says, uh, Defective Factory Second. I didn't know back then they had such thing as factory seconds. Um, it's got some more writing on it. It could have like a dentist name or something on it. I don't know. That's why I brought it home to look at it closer. Uh, I did look at this some more. It is not silver. And this is one of my favorite favorite things this cute little oil can i'm gonna put it in my electrolysis tank and see if i can restore it and no creek walk or woods exploration would be complete without golf balls so that's it that's everything i found this weekend uh Thanks for staying till the end and thanks for watching my videos.